Hey there guys, it's Lee here and welcome to another crypto mining video. So a short while ago I made a video about um, HODL coin and it was kind of a first look at the uh, HODL coin um, network itself, the wallet uh, mining and um, I had a little bit of interest and I thought it was quite um, an interesting uh, crypto coin. So um, it's been a couple of weeks since then. Um, I was actually mining HODL coin on the Mac um, just because I had the other PCs uh, working on uh, other things. Um, but the Mac managed to find a couple of uh, blocks. So we found uh, three blocks and um, was, we was rewarded um, just over 150 HODL coins. Um, some of those I've put into the, um, it's got like a bank deposit type system. Um, so I've made some deposits and I'm just kind of um, monitoring that on the side. Um, the problem is that the actual um, HODL coin network difficulty has um, increased um, dramatically over the last couple of weeks. Um, and to solo mine it just on a single machine now isn't really um, advisable. It's going to take you much longer to find uh, blocks uh, with, uh, with just a single machine. Um, the good point is that um, some developments have been made and there is now a pool option um, available. Um, however, I can't actually, because um, there's a CPU miner that works with the pools, but I can't actually use that CPU miner on the Mac, so I'm going to leave the Mac working on some other things. Um, but what I can show you is a new uh, CPU miner that's been developed today by um, a person by the name of Wolf Zero. Um, I've used some of his stuff before, I think he done some uh, crypto note um, CPU miners and some other bits. The name um, does kind of ring a bell, so I'm pretty sure it's well known in the uh, kind of a crypto uh, ecosystem. Um, and it looks like it should be a good development. So what I'm going to show you today is the uh, new version of um, Wolf Zero's uh, HODL coin miner. Um, and I'm just going to show you on my home PC and then I have another PC uh, with a different um, CPU. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll, I'll be able to discuss the actual performance and show a little bit about it. So I'm going to show you now with the uh, home PC. I've not tested this yet, so literally I've just downloaded it and um, extracted the uh, zip file. So this will either work or we might have some teething problems that we might need to get through. Um, I did read that uh, the Wolf Zero um, HODL coin miner works best with um, newer CPUs, ones specifically that support um, AES dash NI. Um, I'm actually going to try it first on my home PC, which is a Intel i7-950. Um, it's overclocked to just under about 4 gigahertz, um, but it doesn't actually support AES NI. Um, I do have another chip um, that we can use and I'll, I'll come to that next. So uh, I've just downloaded it and um, extracted the actual HODL coin miner. And um, I'm just going to go with pull start. Um, I've not actually, actually let's just take a quick look at the actual what's in the batch file itself. So we've just got the HODL miner, um, I guess this is a mining option, um, I guess that's set to pull, and then this is the actual pull address, and then your worker details. Um, I haven't actually set any worker details with this particular pool. Um, I just want to start it really because I want to kind of um, just get like a benchmark or a reference. It does also have an actual benchmark um, batch file. So maybe we should run that first. Let's uh, run the benchmark batch file. So this is on the i7-950, overclocked to 3.9 something gigahertz. So let's see what happens. Um, and it crashed. Okay, let's uh, try the uh, pull version. It doesn't look like it's going to run. I did read that it might not actually run on this machine. Oh, actually, that was the 32-bit version. Maybe let's try the uh, let's try the 64-bit version and see how we get on there. Uh, I'll go with the benchmark again. Let's see what happens. Um, that doesn't want to run either. Um, okay, hold that fault. I'll be right back with a uh, another machine. Okay guys, let's uh, carry on here. So what I've actually done is um, I've just used uh, TeamViewer to remote log into another machine. Um, the other machine is another, um, it's a Windows 8.1 machine. Um, the chip is a AMD A10 uh, 7700K. 
um, and it is overclocked to four gigahertz. So I've just used TeamViewer to uh, log in, so and that's what you can see on the screen now. Um, I've transferred the Hoddle coin uh, miner across just the 64-bit version because it is a 64-bit chip. Um, and yeah, this chip also supports the AES-NI um, function. So hopefully it will run. Um, I will give it a go with the benchmark first and see what happens. Um, obviously, because TeamViewer is running, um, it will have an effect on the actual processor uh, slightly. So we might not get a true reflection. Okay, so that says 85 um, hashes per second. Um, on the actual... Sorry, just letting it go there. Um, yeah, on my um, on the iMac, um, that's got a um, i5 processor, and that was getting between 55 um, to 60 sometimes um, hashes per second. So it's quite a bit faster than that. Um, I would like to have tested it on the um, my home PC, the the i7, just for a um, a better comparative basis. Um, okay, so that's the benchmark. Let's close that. Um, what I'll do is I'll just go with this basic uh, pull start and we'll just see how that looks and how it runs. Would anyone like an ice cream? Let's continue on. I'm not even sure if you can hear, you should be able to hear that. It's uh, quite loud coming through the windows. Okay, so I've just hit the pull start now and you can see it's running on I'm pretty sure there'll be an option in the actual batch file. I've not uh, read the actual readme at the moment, um, but there'll be an option to set it to a certain amount of threads. At the moment, it's mining on, um, this CPU has four threads, so it's mining on all four threads. And it looks like each thread is getting about just over 20 hashes per second, so that's like a combined total. I don't know if it gives you a, oh yeah, it does. At the end of each um, kind of ex accepted shares, it gives you a, total hash so we've got 75 there 71 I'm not sure it comes to that calculation when it goes it looks like each thread has got just over 20 hashes but then the totals oh okay the total is picking up now um, 89 88 68 okay so if we left that running for a little while longer we'll get a better average um, of the actual hash rate but it looks to be um, above 80 hashes per second uh, with that particular processor. So um, that's going to be about it for this video. I don't really have a very much more to talk about. So if you are interested in mining um, HODL coin and you can no longer um, solo mine, or that's you know because it is too difficult now, if you're, if you're trying to mine just on the wallet, um, the actual pool mining would be a better option for you. So with the actual pool, um, you just need to uh, pick a pool. There's a couple available now. I just go to those pool, register with them, and then obviously um, change your actual batch file um, to match your pool settings and then just add your worker name and your password. And then you'll be up and running um, and then you can actually withdraw your um, HODL coins from the pool and then send them to your wallet. Um, so that's all for this video. Just wanted to share that uh, with you guys. Um, as always, any questions or comments, um, just put those in the uh, box below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Um, once again, you know, appreciate your support. If there's anything that you would like to um, see or like, you know, would like me to make a video about, um, I'm open to ideas and suggestions. So um, just let me know and um, we'll take it from there. Till next video, guys. Take care. See ya.